Hey guys, I'm Sasha with Goalie. In this video, I'm gonna review the Gab phone. This phone is advertised to help you keep your kids safe. They're supposed to not be able to talk to creepers or download wacky apps that you don't want them to. We're gonna see how well it works. You know what for sure works well? No, not that. Goalie, that's our sponsor. Goalie makes tablets for kids to learn independent living skills. And there's no distractions. There's no web browser, there's no app store. There's just a whole lot of apps that teach them how to communicate, how to feel their feelings and deal with those feelings. Also, how to be independent. How do I make myself some mac and cheese? Or how do I get dressed in the morning? If you've got kids that are working on executive functioning skills or communication skills, check out the Goalie tablet. All right, so what's this Gab phone supposed to do? First thing is, it's supposed to monitor your kids' messages in and out. Who are their contacts? Who are they calling? Who are they texting? Second thing we're here to do is to make sure your kids aren't downloading apps that you don't want them to have, right? We don't, we don't want an 11-year-old to have Tinder on her phone. So let's see how it does at both of those things. All right, so this is the Gab phone when you're logged in. It says Gab Wireless, and I guess the first thing you'll notice is there is no app store. I can see Gab Music, Gab Messenger, My Gab. I can see the phone, right? So I can call people. You can see we tried. There's a Google Calendar on here. And setting it up was kind of like setting up any other phone. I had to pair it though to my phone. And now here's where it got a little bit confusing. Turns out you have to download two different parent apps. The first parent app you have to download is called Gab. And then the second one is called Gab Messenger for Parents. So I'll show you what those look like on my phone. Okay, so when I'm in the Gab app, I made profiles for different kids. So here's my profile, Sasha. And from here, I can do a few things. I can locate the device. You can see where we're located on a map, right? So at a hidden destination in Denver, you'll never know. It says what my Gab number is. I can call or message or play sound, which is like lost my phone sound. So that's kind of all you can do from here. And if you open up the messenger, it just opens up texting. So you can see I said text, then I texted myself hi, and then I did it a second time. I was like, hey, is this, is this how it all works or am I missing something? Because I thought, well, surely there might be a little bit more, but no, in this case, it's pretty simple. They're just using functionality that's on your phone and on your kid's phone that's native to the operating system. The next app is called Gab Messenger. Now this one took me a little while to figure out because I wasn't quite sure what it's supposed to do. I thought from here, I'd be able to control who's on my kids' devices, but that's not actually the case. On this, I can see who's on there and I can delete some things, but it's not like I'm a total intermediary like we saw on the Tumi. On the Tumi, it's like we can manage every single number that goes in and out. All right, my producer says it's true me with an R. Sorry, true me. They, those Trumi competes with Gab, so we're looking at both devices. Yeah, so here I can kind of like delete things, I can surveil more, but I can't really get in between of everything. I can't block every phone number. So for example, if you don't want your kid talking to telemarketers, I think this is a little bit hard to manage. You can, after the fact, try to block some of those numbers. Okay, so communication's pretty straightforward. There's messaging and calling on here. Right, so I can text and call, I can make contacts. And then I didn't really understand why, but there's also a messenger app on here. So I guess this is to give your kids some level of transparency. If that's what you want, you can give your kids some level of transparency. They can ask for some things here, um, but I don't think they get a whole lot here. I think they install this app because they have to have an app on the kid's device in order to communicate with the parent which is quite different than the Trumi approach, which is really a fully managed phone. What you'll notice though, there is no app store and there's no web browser. So if that's really your primary sticking point is you don't want your kid to have a web browser and you wanna see what they're doing, but not necessarily get in the middle of everything they're doing, then this is probably a good solution for you. They're not gonna have a selection of approved apps like Trumi does. They also don't get any access to the goalie apps. Who's Goalie? Oh yeah, our sponsor, my company. Goalie apps are all about helping your kids learn independent living skills. It could be managing their emotions when they feel red or yellow or blue. How do we get them back down to green by themselves without a parent necessarily helping them? If they need help with bedtime and getting ready for bed and what are all those different steps that you gotta do, 
That's what the goalie apps help you do on a goalie tablet. All right, back to Gab. In every other way, this is like a basic phone. If you want educational apps on here, that's unfortunately what you're sacrificing, but it's a good phone. I mean, if you need calling and texting and that's kind of it, then this'll do it for your kid. If you need a basic camera app, like, you know, this'll do it. Here's our studio, you could see it. Um, it's not the best camera, but you know what? It works. All right, how much does this thing cost? Well, if you commit to two years, it costs you less than if you commit to a year, but at the end of the day, it's not that expensive. It's $150 for the phone itself, and then they charge you 25 bucks a month for basic service, you know, texting and calling, plus whatever fees there are. So, you know, maybe it ends up being closer to 30 bucks a month after you've got all those taxes baked in there. If you've got a family plan with a telco like AT&T or T-Mobile, you're kind of sacrificing that by going with these guys. You're, you're in their plan, and it's not something you can attach to your current phone plan. I like the quality of the device. I like that there's a fingerprint reader. Unlike the TrueMe phone, it actually came with a case. So that's nice that when you buy it, you don't have to think about buying anything else. It collects fingerprints really quickly and it didn't come with a screen protector. So you're probably gonna wanna put a screen protector on here really quick. If you wanna see any of our other product reviews or learn about Goalie, check us out at getgoalie.com or click on the link below.